Hello again, my name is Gabe Zolna. This is the 13th of March, 2019. Article posted uh, by CBS News, written by Grace Segers, that's S-E-G-E-R-S, -E posted on the 13th of March, 2019. Paul Manafort indicted in New York moments after sentencing in D.C. case. Moments after Paul Manafort was sentenced in federal court in Washington to serve more than seven years in prison, the Manhattan District Attorney unveiled a new indictment against the former Trump King chairman on state charges of fraud. Manhattan District Attorney Cyrus Vance Jr. said a New York grand jury charged Manafort with 16 counts of residential mortgage fraud, conspiracy, falsifying business records, and a scheme to defraud. The indictment was filed in New York State Supreme Court on March 7th and unsealed on Wednesday. No one is beyond the law in New York, Vance, a Democrat, said in a statement. And how about Bill de Blasio and his wife blown two billion dollars? Why don't you look into that, huh? Following an investigation commenced by our office in March 2017, a Manhattan grand jury has charged Mr. Manafort with state criminal violations which strike at the heart of New York's sovereign interests including the integrity of our residential mortgage markets. I thank our prosecutors for their meticulous investigation, which has yielded serious criminal charges for which the defendant has not been held accountable. Manafort cannot receive a presidential pardon for state crimes. Personally, I don't think Trump's going to pardon him on his other crimes either. There is the copy of the entire indictment that you might want to sort of peruse through. It's uh, somewhat interesting. It shows the charges that he's going to be facing. I mean, the guy's, what, 69? This is a life sentence already. And the news of Manafort's indictment came minutes after U.S. District Judge Amy Berman Jackson sentenced him on a conspiracy charge in Washington. I hope that Amy Berman Jackson is chosen by Trump to replace that worthless Ruth Ginsburg. Combined with a 47-month sentence handed down in a separate case in Virginia last week, Manafort faces a total of 90 months in prison worth credit for time served. He'll be dead before his 90 months are up, I believe. Now here's what's interesting. Manafort apologized in court on Wednesday before Jackson handed down the sentence. Quote, I want to say to you that I am sorry for what I have done, Manafort said. While I cannot undo the past, I can assure that the future will be very different. What future? You don't have a future. You'll be 76. That's before these new 16 indictments. You're never going to get out of prison. His attorney, Kevin Downing, told reporters after the sentencing, Judge Jackson conceded that there were no evidence of any Russian collusion in this case. That makes two courts that have ruled that no evidence of any Russian collusion. He also said Jackson exhibited callousness that was hostile and totally unnecessary. Hmm. Well, I don't know if she was hostile. <laughs> Folks, this guy is gone. He will never see the daylight as a free man again. That's sort of what I think. I'll attach the link. Take a look at the indictment. Let me know what you think.